Not now, Miss Sussman. <coughs> Can't you see I'm trying to keep the traffic moving? Yes, Miss Chocolate. Whatever you say, Miss Chocolate, you're the principal. I try to be the best good secretary Riverdale High ever had. I respect you. You are boring, man. Forgive me. Yes, the wrong cross. Who is making such a racket? It's Coach Frazzle. That explains it. Where is he? He's making my life miserable. M I Z A R A B L E E. Miserable. Good morning, Coach. What's good about it? I don't see him. Who? Long Cross. Chat, Long Cross. Don't say chat. Say Chester. What's he done? It's that band of his. All my clear spins. So much time over at that team canteen. They're no good on the food. They break training. They don't get enough sleep. Fine, Chester, Miss Sussman. Fourth period. Is this crazy musical of kids are taking up? It's lewd, it's awful. It ain't got no melody. All it's got is a beat. They call it Rock and Ray. No, Roll. I ain't hungry. No, Coach Frazzle. It's not Rock and Ride. It's Rock and Roll. I can't win a ball game if my team is out rapping and rolling instead of tossing and kicking. We've got to get rid of that team canteen. We've got to get rid of Rock and Roll. Here's Miss Chicklet. Ah, good. Chester. You wanted to see me, Miss Chicklet. Yes, I did. Like, uh, what about? I'll tell you what about. My guys don't think about a ball anymore. All they think about is that teen canteen. And Mark goes on to say, music, music, music. It's the wave of the future. Your grades are dropping, aren't they, Miss Sussman? Chester's grades are quite good. He's passing everything. I'm what they call the natural. Good at sports, good at studies, good at what counts. And I'm popular, too. Good grades? Then why do I want to see him? <clears throat> Rock and roll? No, it's good musical. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot. Chester, I want you to organize the orchestra. You've got to be kidding, Miss Chicklet. Miss Chicklet, this school musical is for squares. I've got a reputation to think of. I'm strictly a dance party time. Forget it. You won't help out? I'd sooner eat a jellyfish. Fine, sorry for taking up your time. So much of school spirit. Now, don't excuse me. You're mighty sure of yourself, Long Cross. I'm the best you got in your team, and you know it. But you're always missing practice. Such a bad example. If the other boys can't keep up, that's their problem. Survival the fittest. I see a practice today. I'll check my schedule and let you know. Hi, chat. Lynn chat. Cutting class. Early lunch. <laughs> what now? Hey! Hey, Tim, what's up? That cafeteria food. <laughs> you call it they serve food? We should eat at the teen canteen. They serve twice as much for toasted tuna. Least you're sure it's tuna. In the school cafeteria, the tuna can be anything. Last toasted tuna I had tasted like bubblegum. There ought to be a law. You kids are in for a treat. Well, what kind of a treat, Jack? I just wrote a new song. It's a blast. Want to hear it? Yeah! yeah. Oh. Hey, everybody. Hey, what's up? Bye. Hey, how you doing? Well, well, well. Look who we've got here. If it isn't Rupert, Fly Decker himself. <laughs> so what do we owe the honor? Oh, wow. Uh, hey, Chet. Hey, Mimi. Did I give you permission to speak to me? Gosh, Chet. I didn't know people needed permission just to say hello. Do they? In your case, Rupert, maybe he does. Lucky knows what she's talking about. Mr. Lumpress is particular who he lets speak to him, Rupert. And you, Rupert, you're not on the list. Well, uh, I wanted to ask you a question. I wanted to ask you all a question. Um, what is he trying to say? Who knows? Who cares? Well, I'm impressed. You're a pretty good musician, Chet. So could really use you. Is that a fact? I already turned on Old Lady Chicklet. Shoes, Rupert. You're gonna get it now. How? There's going to be 
violence. I know there's going to be violence. There's nothing to fear. I'm not going to bruise Rupert. I'm not going to tear him apart. I'm not going to total him. Do you know why, Rupert? No. Listen close, I'll tell you what I see. A guy without a personality. Everybody knows that he's a clown. He's the biggest loser in this town. Ain't got no style, he ain't got no cool. He's got the class of a witless fool. The way he dresses ought to be a crime. Face it, Rupert, you're not worth my time. You're a loser. You're a loser. You gotta face the facts and just admit. You ain't a nothing but a misfit. Every time I see you in the hall, it's funny how you blend in with the wall. Everybody know that he's a clown. Face it, Rupert, you're not worth my time. You're a loser. You're a loser. You gotta face the facts and just admit. Boris! I'm coming, coming, boy. 
why is this coming? What's up here that? What does it look like? It's Coco. Mm-mm, good. You know the doctor likes the way I prefer it. Oh boy, it's you flat yourself. Watch what you're doing. You're spilling most of it on the floor. Oops, clumsy, clumsy Boris. I'm a bad boy. Wicked creature. You just jealous because the doctor didn't like the way you prefer his Coco? Na 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 na. Jealous ice keeper, jealous ice keeper. Insolent creature! I've had enough of your rudeness. I'll show you. No, Mrs. Crunch, please, Mrs. Crunch, stop. Mrs. Crunch, you're hurting Mrs. Crunch. Of course, will be a good boy. Oh, oh. <sighs> Fool. What's going on in there? Now, see what you've done? You've disturbed Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield. I'm a bad boy. You're wicked. <laughs> You're wicked, Boris. Wicked. What's going on, I say? Nothing to concern yourself with, Doctor. It was Boris. He was being unruly again. Boris, eh? We must make allowances, Mrs. Crush. Must we? You know I like things to be peaceful. It helps my concentration. You spoil him, Dr. Dangerfield. You permit him to get away with too much. I feel I own something. He didn't quite turn out the way I planned. <laughs> so few of them do. Don't rub it in. Here, doctor. Your cocoa. Mm-mm, good. Boris? Yes, Dr. Murdoch, can you Go to the laboratory and fetch the test tube I've been working on. One with the bubbles? Yes, the one that bubbles and burps. You can do that, can't you? I can do that, no problem. Then do it! Just leave it to me. I hope he doesn't spill any of the youth elixir the way he spilled the cocoa. You're too hard on Boris. He does his best, but I'm worried. <laughs> About Boris? No, the youth elixir. Up until now, no one would suspect I'm actually 94 years old. That's because you don't look a day over 14. I don't feel a day over 14, but I fear my luck is running out. Each time I drink the youth elixir, I have to drink double the dose. That's dangerous, isn't it? Could be deadly. The last swallow could be my last. There's always the possibility that the next swallow will be effective, but harmless. It's possible. Possible, but risky. Visitors? At this hour? We never have visitors. Everybody's too frightened to come here. I know the paper boy. No, Dr. Dangerfield. It wouldn't be the paper boy. Besides, he's already been paid. <laughs> Whoever they are, they are certainly persistent. I ordered some chemicals and electrical coil from the supply house. Perhaps it's a late delivery. I'll have Cornelius attend to it. Oh, Cornelius! Yes, the front door, please. Don't let them in and don't let them see you. Take the packages into the laboratory, would you please? Thank you, Cornelius. He didn't turn out the way I planned either. He's always malfunctioning. You're too hard on yourself, Dr. Dangerfield. You're a genius. Never forget that. A genius who's likely to turn out a wrinkled little mummy at any moment. Doctor, I think you better take a look at him. He's acting strange again. Who? You know, your latest. Ah, uh, give him something to eat. That'll calm him down. It always does. He's got the appetite of a beast. Hardly surprising. Coming in! You can't stop me! What on earth? Someone's in the hallway! Coming in, I tell you! Oh, oh Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield! I've got to see Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield! It's a matter of life or death. How dare you push your way in here? This is private! Property. No visitors allowed. Out! Out! One moment, Mrs. Crunch. I'm curious. Who are you, young man? My name is Rupert. Rupert Weidecker. I'm a student at Riverdale High, and I'm sick of my life. That is none of our concern. Out! Out! Why do you wish to see the doctor? I read his book. Which one? You too can be someone else. You may leave us, Cornelius. That's a robot, isn't it? I designed him. I built him. Alas, he is prone to malfunction. You must be Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield's assistant. Assistant? <laughs> Stupid 
boy. This isn't Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield's assistant. This is Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield himself. Mrs. Crunch, hold your tongue. Forgive me, Dr. Dangerfield. Forgive me. Only a brave young man, or a desperate young man, would enter this asylum. We have nothing to do with the outside world, and we don't want to know anything about it. This can't be true. Go along, Mrs. Crunch. See what's keeping Boris from the bubbles and burps. I don't like visitors in the asylum. <laughs> She's not too friendly, is she? Young man, tell me your problem. Let's put it this way. I don't want to be who I am. What's the matter with the way you are? Ask anybody who knows me. I'm a loser. I have no personality. I'm not popular. I try too hard. I dress like a jerk. I'm shy. I'm dull. I'm too short. I'm too tall. I have no future. I see. The usual teenage complaints. Interests? I like music. Piano, violin, cello? I like to sing. I'm going to be the assistant director of the school musicale. Will you get to sing? Oh, oh no. I'd be too embarrassed to be on stage where people could stare and make fun of me. That's why I work backstage. I see. You have what Dr. Freud would say, the teenage inferiority complex syndrome. Very common, John. The book said a person could change his personality. With hard work and concentration. Perhaps this will make you believe I am who I say I am. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, everybody out of the pool. Aren't they marvelous? Gosh. Say hello to Rupert. Hello to Rupert. Don't be funny, do it right, one at a time. After all, honor the craftsman for his craft. On a dark and stormy night, when the moon is full and bright, there's a doctor in the lab, so dark and drab, a terrifying creature lying on a slab. What a vision, a delight. On a dark and stormy night, on a dark and stormy night. When the kids are tucked in tight An experiment they say is underway If you come to visit be prepared to say What a vision, a delight On a dark and stormy night We are here to But we can't guarantee you'll return for sure It's amazing, amazing Did you say you were staying overnight? There are many experiments you can see There are many experiments you can be Diabolically, wonderfully, ghastly On a dark and stormy night When the moon is full and bright It's all so queer, a fact I hear Every week another student disappears Doesn't anybody know where they go On a dark and stormy night I'm sure we know where they go on a dark and stormy night. On a dark and stormy night. On a dark and stormy night. Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield, genius. <clears throat> Truly amazing, Doctor. Thank you. What are they good for? Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield hasn't figured it out yet. No, but it will come to him in time. He's a 
Can you give me a new personality? I might be able to help you. I'll do anything you say. This teenager is like all teenagers. He's in misery, possibly psychotic. I shall test my youth elixir on him, and if it works, then I'll know it's safe to drink. Double the dose and all. But what if he doesn't survive? Win some, lose some. Hey, doctor, you're a bum Here you go, Rupert. This might do the trick. What is it? It's a tonic. Doctor, we're not being revealed. He's good with tonics. Will it give me a new personality? It might. However, I must warn you. About what? There's always an element of danger. That's correct, Rupert. Danger. Here's the tonic. It might do the trick. It might not. This decision is yours to make. I told you. I'll try anything. I thought so. In that case, Rupert, drink. Drink, boy. Drink. Drink. Clog a lug. Here goes. Sink or swim. Clog a lug. He must have drank in the wrong potion. How could this have happened? Lizard girl, monkey man, supermarket checker, youth serum. Youth serum? Boris, you imbecile! You handed the doctor the wrong test tube! You gave the werewolf juice! My apologies, Rupert. Everything will be all right in a moment. Hurry up, you incompetent. Your doctor, the antidote. Watch what you're doing! The antidote. Oops. Oh, you. Forgive me, doctor, forgive me. I'll mix up another batch. It'll take some time. No! No. This is the way I want to be. Complete opposite of what I was before. No one will say I'm dull. No one will kick sand in my face. This is going to be the day. No, Rupert, no. Look, I'm getting out of here. Don't try to stop me. What are you going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to live, live, live! Quick, he mustn't get away. Somebody will see him. Come, Come back, back, Rupert.
making my move on a pretty little dolly. She'll be rocking in her woman and is singing golly golly, say golly golly, golly golly, golly golly.
Forget about the mud. I've got a new song to introduce. Yeah. And what do you call your fabulous new song, Chad? I call it. Yeah. Teenage Motorcycle Girl. Teenage Motorcycle Girl. You stole my heart, my leather suits Crashed my bike, you dyed my boots But I love you, I love you Teenage motorcycle girl Oh, 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 oh Teenage motorcycle girl You're the toughest in the world You pulled my hair, you made Scratch my eyes, you punch me out, but I love you, I love you. Teenage motorcycle girl, oh, 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 oh. You know. <laughs> You've already had Halloween. You got a nice look there. I'm into weird. The name's Tyler. <laughs> You interrupted my music. Apologize. Music? You call that music? Yeah, I call what I was doing music. You got a problem with that? The kids dig my stuff. Well, if the kids dig music, I don't give them music. Shut up, loser. Loser? Why you? Okay, <laughs> keep cool. Alright. Yeah, I'll just sit here. You guys want music? I said, you want music? I'll give you music. You ain't heard nothing yet. Hit it, Rob!
very hungry. You'll be the new James Dean, if James Dean could sing. What's this? I'm supposed to be the new James Dean with the pipes. Forget it, Chester. I found what Sherlock Records wants. Werewolf. Oh, the jacket covers will be sensational. That's it. I'm not letting any drooling fuzzballs get down in my career. Careful, he bites. Quite like a, uh, whatever you are. <laughs> You, I could wait. You're not number one on my hit parade. You're number one on my hit list. <laughs> You're still number one with me, Leo Jack. Get lost. Who needs you? Oh, Chet. What a novelty. A singing werewolf. Pat Boone shoes will turn green with envy. Has anyone here seen Rupert Lidecker? <laughs> Who cares about Rupert Lidecker? We got a new teenage sensation. And I'm it. Now this werewolf freak shows up and you switch sides. 
Don't take it personal. We have a right to be friendly with whoever we want. Have it your way. If you're not with me, you're against me. That sounds like a threat. Could be. See you around, former friends. Wait a minute, Lamb Chops. I'll come with you. Get lost. Who needs you? Hey, it's okay. Chet doesn't mean half of what he says. Oh, yes, he does. Half is more than enough. He's jealous of werewolf, that's all. Chet wants to be the center of attention. All the time. Chet can get pretty nasty when he wants. Aw, what can he do? Listen, everyone, this is serious. Hey, hey Claudia. Claudia. What's up? What's up? It's been two days now and still no news. No news about what? My brother, Rupert. Rupert? What's he done? He hasn't done anything. He disappeared. That's something. What are you talking about? He hasn't been home. He missed all his classes. That doesn't sound like Rupert. Rupert Lidecker? Runaway? Told you not. If I were you, Sandra, I'd get in touch with the police. Pronto. Just the last thing Rupert would want. Hey, hey, hey. Let's not get too serious about anything. After all, we only have once. Let's worry about what really counts. Rupert's disappearance. <laughs> nah. Rupert's disappearance? Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh. 
joy. <laughs> I don't think anyone cares one way or the other. It certainly is popular. I'll say. Did you notice his eyes? There was something about them. He was really staring at you. That's your imagination. Come on, let's eat. She's Claudia. Ah, Detective Arcos. Uh, you, you contacted my department about a missing person? You didn't! You know Lupa would hate that. I was desperate. Okay, how long has he been gone for? Two days. Two days? I'm sorry, I cannot take a missing person into their gone for at least 72 hours. What about uh, your parents, huh? They can't help. They were in the jungle. The jungle? The Amazon jungle. Kids and butterflies. It's an unusual family. <laughs> You're joking, right? Please, Detective Arkoff, find him. Wait, did he say anything about where he would be going or what he was thinking? Uh, uh, no. No. Great, I'd rather work on that, wouldn't I? <laughs> uh, you would tell me when you find him? Yes, yes, we will. Minute. There's a lot to do. Wait until you hear about the sensational press sleep I'm preparing. I intend to introduce where up to the world as the big party. Do you know where I'm going to have it? No. Where? Here at the Teen Canteen. Isn't that fabulous? Don't you just love it? The latest scene sensation will meet the press in a teenage hangout. It's perfect. It's ideal. It's, it's fabulous. fabulous. You haven't heard the best part? What's that? Where will I introduce where up to the world when there's a full moon. How's that for a publicity tie-in? A full moon? That's tomorrow night. Yes, yes, now you see why I'm so excited. It's a dream come true. Tell all the kids I want a big turnout. I'm even going to invite the school faculty. What could be better? Teen Canteen the full moon. A woo! He's all anyone could think about. Werewolf. Do you think we should have told that detective that uh, Lupo was going to the asylum? No, that would be the worst thing we could do. Rupert would never speak to us again. What are we going to do, Claudia? We're going to have lunch. <laughs> he kissed me. He kissed me right there. I'm never going to wash his hand again. Who kissed you? Chester Lumpcrass. Chet, forget about Mr. Lumpcrass. He's past history. Werewolf kissed me. Werewolf? He told Mary she was a charming young woman. He knows class when he sees it. Then he took her hand and licked it with a smooch. He kissed me like he was Prince Charming. <sighs> like I was Cinderella. That must have been some kiss. Better believe it. Some kiss. Better believe it.
definitely brings out the beast in me. Lucky you. I wish he kissed me. I don't know what Chet's gonna say about this. Like I told Sandra, forget about Chet. He's past history. He never appreciated a special woman like myself. Anyways, it took a werewolf's kiss to bring me to my senses. I got some hairspray in my locker. Let's spray our hands so the kiss can be preserved for all eternity. Great idea. Ow! Oh, I must a teenager fall in love.
There's some front door. I heard. Yes, Doctor. Don't answer, Doctor. I'm not telling you it might be. They'll go away. In, the mo in a moment, the knocking will cease. You'll see. Wrong again. Go see who it is, Mrs. Crunch. Yes, Doctor. Oh, my poor feet. Yes, the front door, please. Whoever it is, no admittance. We must be extra careful, Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield, if, if anyone would trace the werewolf to this asylum. You don't have to remind me about the consequences, Mrs. Crunch. I'll be exposed and my work will cease. What good is your work anyway? I never understood. Look at me. No, 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 Mrs. Crunch. Forgive me, doctor. Forgive me. What? Two teenage girls are asking about Rupert? I was afraid of this. Send them away, Doctor! No. They might be of some help. We've got to get Rupert back into this asylum. Show him in Cornelius. But act perfectly normal. In I do. In this place? Do you think we ought to offer them some refreshment? I suggest we find out what they know and get rid of them. Wise. Do you see him? I wonder where he's from. He, you know where he's from. He's from this asylum. He's a robot. That'll be all, Cornelius. You will leave now. Yes, yes. What is it? We'd like to see Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield. I'm Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield. You're Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield. And I'm Mrs. Myrtle Crunch, the housekeeper of this asylum. You can't be the doctor. You're too young looking. Proper nutrition, exercise, plenty of sleep, early to bed, early to rise. Cornelius said you were looking for someone who was named Rupert. Is that correct? Rupert lied, doctor. He's a friend. My brother. Uh, he came here two days ago and thought Dr. Dangerfield could help him. He thought Dr. Dangerfield was a genius. Is a genius. I don't know who you are, but would you please tell Dr. Dangerfield that we're here? But this is Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield. You can't be serious. We're not fools. I'll prove it to you. Only a genius like myself could have created what I've created. What have you created, Doctor? It's time for show and tell. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, everybody out of the pool. You mustn't be afraid of my creations. They're unconventional, but harmless. They're like... Everybody else. Only different. They're different, all right. Your names, please? Oh, uh, Claudia. Claudia Dalton. Lydecker. Sandra Lydecker. Experiments. Be polite. Hello, Claudia Dalton. Hello, Sandra Lydecker. Hi. Hi. Uh, Experiments. What's my name? Who am I? Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield. My genius. Do you still doubt? I'm impressed. Honest. There's never day a girl gets to meet a mad genius. Tell me about Rupert. Uh, Rupert was a wonderful boy. He was, he's kind and intelligent and bright, but he has no self-confidence. He wanted to be someone else, anyone but himself. Uh, he read one of your books and was convinced you could help him. Tell me, young ladies, have you seen anything of a werewolf in the neighborhood? Why, yes. Strange that you should mention that. He hangs out at Riverdale High. He's popular. He's going to be a rock and roll star. Would you say he's happy? Well, yes, I would accept. Yes? There's a look in his eyes. I'm sorry to hear Rupert wasn't happy being himself. That's the spirit feline. Trying to feed someone is a losing game. I ought to know. Why couldn't Rupert see that? Simple. Rupert is a typical teenager. To tear a page out of William Shakespeare, to thine own self be true. You shouldn't worry about the way things be. 
Don't you go climbing someone else's tree. If you look closely and don't try so hard, you'll find the grass is greener in your own backyard. Don't be a part of someone else's game. Don't call yourself by any other name. Take my advice, my friend, and just be you to thine own self. Be true. Be your own star. Now you must leave. It isn't wise to linger in this asylum. Who's been going? Leave everything to me. Let me show you the door. We'll do anything if it'll help Rupert.
you can do yourself? Give me a break. I ought to break your head, that's what I ought to think. No harm done. To the school. It's the first we can't have a little bit. Let's meet this person. Chester, Coach Frazzle found you hiding these in your locker. I do what? This loose mask. I recommend that these anywhere. There's a business that's attacking me. And that's my pocketbook. And also a pair of these fake loose paws. I demand an explanation for this. I didn't do nothing. Don't be up so insolent. Coach Krause will call you with the evidence. Not only red hunted, but fur hunted. <laughs> Chester, why did you do it? Why? Why? It's not hard to understand. I'm sick and tired of everybody making a fuss over this fuzzball. I just wanted to make werewolf look bad so everybody can say, show off. You stole my money. I didn't want your money. I just wanted to make werewolf look bad. That was an irresponsible action, and not the way to get along in life. What is? So, these are the demons at the house. Would you like to, uh... Would you like to press charges on me? Well... I wouldn't have any more trouble. There's been too much of that. I say we all go to my office and thrash us up. It's not a game of strip, but... What's the big deal? Oh, uh, it's a teenager on motion. 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 Introduce your new ideas to the press? You mean werewolf? I do. What's in your asylum? All, all sorts of spooky, creepy, scary things. I understand you were thinking of using the teen canteen. I was. Why not do it up right in this plant? A desolate asylum on top of barren hill. Dead trees, thorny scrub, full moon, bats, howls. Stop, stop. I love it. Yes, yes. Talk about suitable atmosphere. How much will you charge to use your asylum? It's free, Miss Plant. I'm a patron of the arts. Call me Daisy. Everybody's invited, Daisy. And the weather's gonna be great. Think so? No so. Full moon or no full moon, there's gonna be thunder and lightning. Oh, good. <laughs>
Can I get you something? Cheese crackers, cola. Well, here's one thing, basically. Wait till you meet him. Wait till you hear him. Fabulous. I'll give each of you an exclusive interview. Where are the actors? Great makeup job on that one. I'm not an actor. I'm not wearing makeup. I am what I am. That's enough, Boris. No, 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 Mrs. Punch. Then behave. They see Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield. You mean the kid impersonating Dr. Murdoch Dangerfield? No, no, he really is a doctor. He told me. I wouldn't want you to miss your deadline. Everyone, everyone, quiet down. Attention, I have an important announcement. Quiet. Students, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, faculty and staff members of Riverdale High, thank you for coming. Are you all having fun? Woo! Splendid. I'm sure I don't have to tell you you're in for a marvelous, fabulous time. Shellac Records intends to make Werewolf the biggest, biggest rock star of the decade. Tonight, the whole world will know. A wolf is howling, baby howling. I give you
Well, one more will teach the noise. It's up to you, Rupert. It's time for the selfie trip. What does that mean? I think Claudia knows. She does. Thanks, Doc. I'm going to do some self-confidence. Wait, let me get this straight. If Rupert lied after he drinks that, he'll turn back into a werewolf? Guaranteed. Give me that. You're not going to drink that. Want to bet? Why waste those oven covers? You want a werewolf? I'll give you a werewolf. What if this next one? Think of something nasty. The press is waiting. Sing, Chet. Sing. <clears throat> All right. You haven't heard nothing yet. <laughs>
Pode ir 